Hey, welcome back to The Recap, the video podcast ministry of First Baptist Kettering, where we discuss topics such as our vision, our values, and our sermons from week to week. The Recap exists to help people be transformed by Jesus. With that, let's get started. Hey, back to the table today with Pastor David. Uh, so excited to sit here. It was great this past Sunday. We had a fantastic mm. day. Yeah. Both both campuses had good attendance, but man, Sunday night was really fun. Yeah, the, the Inspire service it was, was fantastic. good. Hearing from you, hearing from Fred mm-hmm. about what God's doing at your campuses, seeing uh, the online campus grow. We heard some really cool stuff from Pastor Larry. New members, new yeah, members new joining. Members. Man, it was great mm-hmm. hearing God's faithfulness through His people. Just just a fantastic time. We're at a, a great season doing this Origin series. Mm-hmm. So this week, Genesis chapter 2, 18 through 25, can be a controversial passage. Some places, yeah. Hard to preach, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, We live in a context and a culture today that maybe doesn't hold as tightly to these, uh, to some some values that they held to before. Mm -hmm. I I think there's Mm a, it's in... uh, a difficult topic to walk through sometimes dealing with relationships and how they're supposed to look and all those things. Your title for your message, The Match Made in Heaven, we were just laughing about this a second ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not necessarily a sermon just about marriage. It's about right. relationships in general. But we have a chance to be word lovers, right? This mm-hmm. is who we are. One of our values is being a word lover. How do we engage content like this, presented in this text, dealing with how we're supposed to live in relationship, God's design. Yeah. How do, how do we wrestle with this? Well, I, I think, first of all, you consider your audience. Like I was I was talking about after the fact, after I was done preaching, mm-hmm. somebody else was giving the announcements at the end. We had a couple of closing things to do. And so I was in the back waiting to greet some guests. Mm-hmm. And I started noticing people leaving a little bit early. And as folks were leaving, I didn't get to talk to everybody. But... You start looking and thinking about oh, that person just broke up. Mm. This young adult was was dating someone and she just broke up not too long ago. Oh, and there goes two divorcees. Mm. I, I know for a fact. I know their stories. They've been divorced. Um, and then oh, there goes another person. He just lost his wife last week. Mm. Um, and I'll be doing that funeral on you know March fifth. So you begin to think, okay. I, I pray before this needs to happen before, before not after, but <laughs> you know, I, I pray before every time before I preach, I, I pray over the people that are going to be listening to the word mm-hmm. and pray that these truths um, are an encouragement, perhaps mm-hmm. a challenge um, in the right way mm-hmm. that the Holy spirit is able to convict of sin and that the Holy spirit can comfort them mm-hmm. and, you know, right where they are. Mm-hmm. So the way you know you were describing the relationships, Chad and I talked about how there was like this general view of relationships, community mm-hmm. that you see at the very beginning right. of this text. Right. It's not good for man to be alone. Mm-hmm. And then the the text narrows in focus to marriage, mm-hmm. as you just mentioned. So yeah, there there were a lot of things, and in, and within all of that, sexuality, what the the concept of oneness, physical mm-hmm. oneness. Mm-hmm. You know, sex in the context of marriage is a gift from it's God. A it's good a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we talked about that. We talked about, um, again, we came back to what we had already looked at in chapter 1, verse 27. Mm-hmm. He created them male and female. He created them. Mm-hmm. So we, we touched on that, not as much as we did a couple of weeks ago, um, but but also just marriage. Mm-hmm. And what does spiritual oneness look like? We ended, of course, talking about just the fact that this text, Genesis chapter 2, was quoted not just by Jesus, but it was also quoted by the Apostle Paul mm. in Ephesians chapter five, mm-hmm. which we got to the heart of the gospel. You know, yep. marriage is a beautiful picture of the gospel, and it that's sure where is. we that's where we ended. So there there was a lot there, and I know I just kind of gave the a summary of right. of uh, our sermon, but it was I think also really encouraging, mm-hmm. uh, encouraging message. I think the tendency in our on, in our hearts is to to see what the Bible has to say. Maybe sometimes when we've tried other things and they didn't work, Mm. right? There's timeless truth found Mm -hmm. in the pages of Scripture. All of it is inspired. We believe that. Um, We believe it is God's words to man. They're perfect. But sometimes, man, we just don't, 
it's hard to embrace. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say, okay, we're, I need, I need the word to maybe correct me or to, to be that, uh, healing, those healing words. And sometimes those healing words can sting mm-hmm. a little bit. Right. Um, so when I think about this passage in Genesis chapter two, it talks about relationships and being created to be in community together. Mm-hmm. And then God gives us relationships as gifts. Um, what does it say about us when we mistreat or we mishandle the gifts of relationships we've been given, whether it's family or our, our spouses or our children or friends? Like, what, is it, what does it reveal about who we are, would you say? Well, I, I, and by our very natures, um, you know, there is there's this rebellious spirit Mm. that we have because of sin. It's hard to look at the joys of relationships and the, Mm -hmm. the beauty of friendship. We talked about friendship Mm -hmm. and community and, and marriage and the differences are a good thing, not a bad thing, but it, we're going to be getting into chapter three and brokenness enters the world. Mm -hmm. You know, sin enters the world Mm -hmm. and it's really hard not to see ourselves as broken Mm. Um, so yes, we can celebrate this dichotomy of celebrating the joys of marriage and relationships and friendships, and yet understanding that, like I, I quoted Matthew 19, is it, where Jesus was being tested by the, the mm-hmm. lawyers, mm-hmm. and they're saying, well, Moses, you know, he was issuing divorces left and right, you know, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, mm-hmm. right? But, um, and they're basically trying to trip Jesus up. And he said, yeah, he, Moses did that because, but because of the hardness of your heart, there's mm-hmm. sin, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, he, he allowed it, but then he said this, he comes back to Genesis chapter two, when he Mm -hmm. said from the very beginning, it wasn't so that wasn't my plan at creation. I, I, I wanted this perfect unity, this, um, so I think to answer your question, Patrick, it reveals our brokenness. Mm. I think these types of sermons just, you know, it does give cause to celebrate, um, because marriage is a beautiful thing. Friendships, relationships are a beautiful thing. But when we go outside of the boundary mm. that we see in creation, you know, we, we pay the consequences. Mm-hmm. Divorce, yes. Um, confusion about um, sexuality, mm-hmm. which we talked about a little bit. Yeah, there, we, we see the results of that brokenness in so many different places. I heard it said this way, just to speak of that brokenness mm-hmm. being revealed, that the gospel applied today in the sanctification that takes place throughout our lives mm-hmm. until we see Jesus again as a pursuit of his design. Mm-hmm. It's him pointing us back to, hey, this is how I made things. Um, yeah, you're two different people. That's why you don't agree, right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're, you're, they're a group of people. You get three Baptists in a room, you get five opinions, mm-hmm. right? It's just yeah. what happens because God made us individuals. And like you mentioned, there's this problem of sin that takes, takes root in us where we seek self in our own way rather than God in his way, right? Mm -hmm. So there's this pursuit through sanctification through the Holy Spirit that points us back to God in his way. Mm -hmm. Now, do we ever reach that, um, this side of eternity? No. But God gives us gifts, Mm -hmm. like a faith family to belong to that helps Mm -hmm. us see those areas and to love on Mm -hmm. us when things go crazy. Or or he gives us a spouse that is legitimately the, the opposite of who we are. I, I, I jokingly said this Sunday, um, happened to be, happened to return home to take care of a, a situation at our house and listening to this. And Pastor Chad said something regarding the language, speaking of I'll make a helper fit for him, mm. crafted to be the, uh, the I, I forget the wording he used, something the opposite or the, um, the compatible unit with like making up those differences. And I said, that's exactly who mm. God gave me. There are personality distinctions that are different between the two of us. And that's usually what drives people crazy in marriage. Like mm. you're so different from me. Yeah, that's right. It's supposed <clears throat> to be that it's way. It's supposed to be that way. It can be a good thing. It it's can. just, we turn into this competition and you know, it's, it, it makes it really difficult yeah. when, you know, forget the Mars Venus talk, man. Yeah, we're different. <laughs> and I think God created us that way. Mm-hmm. And um, we, we need to embrace that. So regardless celebrate. of the relationship status, marriage, friends, living in mm-hmm. community with people, if we embrace 
the 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 fact that God has created us differently mm-hmm. and we see ourselves in light of the gospel mm-hmm. we're all sinful we're all in need of grace maybe we can be instruments of grace in mm-hmm. God's hands in the lives of others yeah i spent some time talking about how the church should respond to some of the that brokenness mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. What should be our posture, and it mm-hmm. is grace. Mm-hmm. It, we we should have a posture of grace, and we should lead with our own depravity, our own mm-hmm. sin, our own struggles. Um, never, never attempting to you know to point out theirs first. I you mean, mean, we have to be transparent about stuff. Yeah, hashtag That's real life, man. No, it's not. That's relationships typically aren't, are mm-hmm. they? <laughs> God made us for relationships. Yes, He did, and, and I'm very a, thankful for the ones we have here. Amen. Damn. He's equipped us with the gospel as well, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I pray that he uses each of us. Hey, thank you so much for joining us for the recap today. We look forward to seeing you in person or online for for worship again with us this week. If this is your first time tuning into the recap, we'd uh, like to ask you to look down below and hit the like and subscribe button for us just to keep up with what's going on here on this on this show and also with our services and other content we produce from this channel. Thank you so much for joining us again. Let's go out and be the church. Have a great day. 